It's Nate here from Inland Warehouse, and today we're gonna to be talking about replacing these sole plates on your skates. Uh, replacing sole plates is one of the most common things done, whether it be for aesthetic reasons or just they get worn out from normal wear and tear. Pretty simple process. We'll go over a couple steps of it today. We're gonna to be using the Volo Brandon Smiths. So what you're gonna need is obviously your skates and just a regular old Allen key here. Uh, this one does have both sides on it. Volos don't need this littler one, but a lot of skates like Rams or Razors do. So we'll just go and use this. These are some of the best tools they got out there. So one of the first steps is removing the frames. Uh, we've already done that here, but if you don't know how to do that, check out our video on removing the frames. There are four bolts in the front and four bolts in the back. You just use your tool, just go ahead and start spinning them out. One thing to be sure of though, is there is these little T bolts inside the skate. They do tend to spin sometimes, they do tend to get lost. But if you usually have your liner in there nice and tight, they hopefully they won't pop out, but if they do, we'll get to that later. But let's hop into it here. One quick thing I do want to talk about is I usually like to leave the bolts in the little slots here. Uh, these things are extremely easy to get lost and this way they all kind of stay in place and when you're putting them all back together, um, you just kind of switch them over and just bolt them straight up and this way they don't move around and get lost. And then as far as just reinstalling them, pretty much the same process, just backwards. Uh, I always recommend pushing these bolts all the way down to the bottom. Just make sure they're out of, not like, so you're not stripping them out. And then with the volos, you're gonna wanna put the front piece on first because you see they have these little locking system in there for the toe to the heel. Uh, most skates don't have that, but just, just a little point on the volos. So just pop them in there how you would. Get all the bolts in there straight. Just be careful not to press those T-bolts out. You gotta be real gentle with them at first until you get threaded. Once it's threaded, you get one tightened down. Just don't tighten it, just snug it up because you still gotta have some movability with the um, sole plate here because they don't always line up exactly. So that part's snugged up. We'll go ahead and pop this back one on as well. And then once you got them all snug, just go and start tightening them all down. You don't need to over tighten them at all, just till they get in there nice and good. You don't want to make it hard to take them off for the next time. You're all set. So we just went over the Volo solvent, sole plate replacement. Um, a lot of skates are different. These carbons happen to be some of the easiest ones to do. All you got is these two bolts right here, just the mounting bolts off your frames. Uh, just spin them out. Just like you would taking the frame off. And then it just pops right off. There's no hassle of taking all the sole plate bolts off. And your sole plate's off. 